Hey friends, my name is Educator Katie and we are here at Zoo Montana to bring you your first YouTube video of 2021. For the first video of the month throughout 2021, we're going to be bringing you different crafts and activities related to the month's theme. Our theme this month on Facebook is all about the taiga. And we thought, what better way to dedicate a craft to that cold and snowy habitat than making your very own ice mobile or mobile or however you say that. And no, I'm not talking about something like a Batmobile. So I'm not talking about a car made out of ice, although if you can do that, more power to you. What I am talking about is making the hanging things, like from over a baby crib, except you're gonna make it to decorate outside. This craft is actually pretty simple and basic to do, and you don't need a lot of materials for it. You need a few shallow containers, like the lids off of some Tupperware, or even small plates, or even Tupperware themselves. As long as the container is shallow, you should be able to make it work. The next thing that you'll need is enough string or yarn to connect your containers together. In this picture, you can see I've got enough string that connects the three different lids that I have that contain my natural objects. And that's the other thing you're going to need. Other than water, you need some kind of natural object. Now, if you can, go out on a nature hike, whether that's around your neighborhood or to the closest park, or even just on your own porch or in a garden if you know that there's one nearby. My natural objects came from my apartment. I had a bunch of dead sunflowers on my porch, so I grabbed one of the heads of the sunflowers. I also cut a tiny little snip off of my little baby mini pine tree that I have for Christmas time. And I had a walnut shell in my pantry, so I thought that'd be kind of cool to add in there. But you can pick anything you want. You can pick more than one piece for each little Tupperware that you have. You can just do one, whatever you want to do for your thing, okay? Now, it doesn't matter if your object is taller than your Tupperware or lid or plate. All that matters is that you can get enough water into it so that it will also freeze. Another tip about your natural objects. Make sure that you find the things that on the ground or out of your own pantry. In wintertime, all the plants are sleeping, just like many animals hibernate, and we don't want to hurt the plants by cutting off some of their important nutrients like off of their limbs. So if you find a pine cone or a leaf on the ground, awesome, take that, use it. Same with dead flowers and things like that. But try not to pull off a whole branch off of a tree, okay? You can even get creative and take some stuff out of your own pantry, whether that's a raspberry or a strawberry that you might have in the fridge, maybe a part of an apple just for fun, or you can even put corn or popcorn or anything in it that you want, okay? As long as it's some kind of natural object. All you have to do is set up your containers and then you put in as many or as few natural objects as you'd like. I put mine on a plate so that I could carry them outside and then I lined up my string like I wanted it. Don't put your water in yet, okay? Because the water is very, you could spill it like I almost did. So take your tray or plate outside or all the containers separately outside and then lay your string and then take some water and fill each of your containers. Then make sure you press down on the string in each container so that it gets wet. Press down on each of the natural objects that you have to make sure that they get some water on them. Many of them may still float and that's totally okay, but if they have water on them, they're more likely to freeze in place. And then you just leave it out overnight. You might wanna plan this for a night when it's going to be cold, Depending on how deep your dishes are, you might want it to be at least 20 or 25 degrees or even colder, okay? And then come back and check on it the next morning and you should have nice frozen mobiles or mobiles or however you want to put it. Now you have a craft that you've made with nature's help. All you have to do is find a place to put it. We don't recommend putting it inside because it'll melt and go everywhere. So you can hang it off of your back door or off of a porch or even off of a tree, either in your own backyard or nearby or in a park. Just remember where you put it so that you can go and collect the string when it's all melted away so we don't litter. If you wanna make this more of an experiment, try to see how many pieces you can put in there and make sure it still freezes or see how cold it actually has to be or how long it might actually take so you can go and check on it throughout the day or the night depending on what the temperature is and see if you can experiment with how fast you can make it freeze or how slow. Now, if you had fun with this, tag us in social media, send it to us. We would love to see your results from this experiment slash craft. And we are super excited to see you next month for our next activity. Bye.